how to sell digital products on systeme.io hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can sell digital products on your website by using systeme.io so having said that let's just jump into the video now, if you don't know what systeme.io is it's basically a website where you can find everything you need have a bunch of tools you can create websites over here you can create funnels you can create email marketing blogs you know everything that you would need is going to be over here so having said that let's go ahead and jump right into it so the sign up process is very free you can go ahead and click on get started for free or enter in your email address over here click on get started for free to sign in it's very free you don't have to worry about anything else there is a pricing plan however but i will tell you about it later so for now let's just go ahead and sign in i've already logged in i've already signed up so let me just go ahead and log in and once you have signed in this is going to be your dashboard over here let me just show you your main dashboard this is how it's going to look like over here you will have all of your reports all of your algorithms you know your leads your website sales and all of that and since we're here to create a website to sell our digital products what we're going to do is we're going to click on blogs over here when you click on blogs as you can see we have nothing over here so we just simply click on create a blog and this will allow us to have a bunch of different templates over here you can go ahead and view all of these different templates and then you can choose it so over here you just enter in the name of your blog you know name of your website and then you have your blog domain over here and then you have your url path over here as well so simply go ahead and view whatever website you feel like is most uh you would say close to your needs and then just simply go ahead and you know click on select template so let's go ahead and view some templates over here so currently this is the template that is selected so already so let's go ahead and view it so if you view this template this is how it looks like so right so this is a pretty decent template you know looks like a complete website I have all these articles over here and all of that uh, but we don't need that what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on let's say or actually this one let's see this one yeah i think this one looks much better so yeah let's go ahead and choose this one we're just simply gonna click on select template now the template has been selected and we'll just simply click on create oh uh, we also have to fill this one as well over here we'll just call it we'll just give it a name demos and we'll just simply click on create now it's creating our new blog for that i'm going to show you how you can edit it add your own products and all of that so over here this is our blog right here right so so what we'll do is we'll just simply go ahead and view it right here this is how it looks like now we just simply go ahead and click on blog settings over here we can edit all of the blog settings but to actually access the settings you just simply click on the name over here such as the title over here click on demos or whatever your title is it's going to take you over here where you will have all these different pages and titles of your blogs and you can go ahead and you know customize them on your own so over here you will have your post layout you can create a new blog post over here and over here you will have pages so these are going to be all of your pages right here and then you have categories as well if, if you want to create a different categories and you can go ahead and do that so if you click on pages all right you can go ahead and edit them out so this is the current home page so we'll just simply go ahead and click on the edit option over here to edit the home page so this is the home page right here over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options what we want to do is actually we want to go ahead and you know edit it out right so you will have to you know paste your logo over here you don't you know up on the top your you know header and you have all of this down below so what we'll do is we'll actually you know just simply delete all of these up you know just to make more room for our product that you want to add so let's just say that let's go ahead and remove this one as well actually this entire section yeah all right so over here we have this section right here so what we want to do is we want to add something over here so for example let's say since it's your digital product website it depends upon what type of product you want but let's say we are selling a software right so what we'll do is we'll add the software image over here and tell people about the software you know like something like that so over here and you also have these blocks over here so as you can see so over here you have your features page footer team presentation welcome price plan and stuff like that. so let's go ahead and add the welcome page actually uh when, let me go back click on welcome over here so we will have our welcome pages over here so over here you can add this to, you know to present your main uh product so over here let's just say that any section actually so we'll just add that section so over here as you can see we could probably edit this out probably you know at the back add our product image or stuff like that and then you know click over here and then what you can do is you know probably put this go move this up a little bit there we go now we have it down below now what we want to do over here is we could add another block you know 
maybe like features or theme presentations you know or maybe we could add a pricing plan or we could tell them about the product as well so maybe like you know add features over here so for example we could add this over here what you will get and you can add in the features over here of all of your product so let's move this up again and then over here you could probably add another plug that would be like the pricing plan of it as well so over here you will have a bunch of different pricing plans to choose from you can add two pricing plans you can add like a free plan or a paid plan or you can give like you know different plans or not so over here let's go ahead and add this one over here so there will be like two features over here there's a free plan and there's a premium plan let's move this text up a little bit but so we'll just go ahead and do that yeah i think that looks good so two plans over here you can add each you know added each section individually to give your own you know features about your product so that people can know so pretty much this is how it looks like and then over here before actually you know our features uh i wanted to add another one like testimonials so that people can know hey that this product is good all right you can add your own testimonials over here so let's go ahead and choose a testimonial you can choose whichever one you want this one looks good so we're going to add this one and we're going to put this over here at the top so over here we have our welcome page our products you know over here features our testimonials and then we have our pricing plan and boom there we go and then after that you can add your header over here so after you've edited your website you are good to go so then you can just simply click on save changes and let's go ahead and actually view it before we do it at least one email input is required on this page also you can probably add like a sign up page as well if you wanted to you know um for example let's say a free 30-day trial page as well yeah i think that will look good so you could add that as well yeah i think that looks good you know to get started for free you could add that now let's go ahead and take a look so this is how it looks like all right pretty simple nothing too fancy yeah it looks good so boom that's how you do it once you've saved all of your changes what you could do is you can exit it out now actually you exit it out actually we need still need to go ahead and do that so let me just open the editor up in a second so now what you can do next is as since you've added the pricing plans and you know people want to buy this so what you can do is just simply click on this button over here and over here you can type in the url to you know take them over to the next page so the next page would be the funnel page so let's go ahead and click on funnels i've already created a funnel but what you'll basically need to do is click on create and do the exact same thing all right so if you click over here this is the page right and this is the thank you page so what we'll do is go back over here we'll go into the funnel you know we'll just copy this link for our funnel website you know it doesn't have to be anything you can go ahead and create one as well so let me actually go ahead and create a new one so we want to sell a product right so we'll just simply click on create and we'll call it demos as well so we'll click on create all right over here we choose the funnel page all right so let me preview this one so this is how it looks like you will have your email address we don't want a family name hmm. well find the full name over here final name last name you know then we want paypal as well so that actually looks good so we could choose this one or you can choose whichever one you want it all depends on you like this one as well this one also looks pretty cool you know you can add any of the images of your products over there onto the computer screens as well so over here let me take a look yeah yeah i think this looks good so we'll just select that and once that's done you just simply have to copy this link and also you have to add in the integration for paypal which is pretty simple to set up you just add the integration for paypal or stripe and you add in your account and you're good to go so once you have that you just simply copy the link of your funnel page go back into the editor click on the button over here such as this one and add in the url same goes with the free plan as well so if you wanted to once that's done you are good to go so simply click on save changes and you are good to go so now if we come back over here and i reload this page and i simply click on this you know buy form it'll take me over to the funnel page as you can see over here then i just simply have to fill out this page add in the payment details and i am good to go so that's how you basically do it that's how you create a website to sell your digital products by systemy.io so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye